Hey guys, so today I'm gonna be looking at people who think they're cool but are not. So yeah, let's just get right into the video. Picking on someone in a group and trying to get everyone else to laugh at them. Not in a bug. Not in a hate bug, 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 bug. Not in a hey, everyone's joking around kind of way. In a being a nasty piece of work and embarrassing the person kind of way. You have to be really insecure to do this to someone else. I just feel like it makes them think they're so much cooler. It's just a prank, bro. It's just a prank. Said by every douche about to get the butt kicked because they pushed too far. <laughs> We've all seen a video like this. Relax, relax, there's a camera, the camera's there, the camera, the camera, the camera. No one cares about the camera over there, okay? No one cares. You pissed him off and you're the jerk. Supporting a celebrity that doesn't care about your existence online to the extent of bullying and name calling people who don't worship that celebrity. Oh. That's interesting, honestly. Well, that's honestly so dumb. Not everyone's gonna like the same things that you like. You like this certain type of food, not everyone's gonna like the same food that you like. That's just the same with people, okay? We all have preferences. Or even someone that you're interested in, just because you like this person, not everyone's gonna like that same person that you like. That's just how it is. Picking on weird kids. Oh, or picking on the quiet kids. Don't piss them off. Just don't piss them off. Failing in school does not inherently make you a douchebag, but bragging about it as if it's something that is cool isn't the best presentation of character either. <laughs> it's so cringe when someone is like, I dropped out of school. I never went to college. Da 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 da. I never did anything good in my life. <laughs> Jeez, all right. We can tell. Okay, we can tell by the way you talk, all right. How are you proud of that, honestly? Like, why would you brag about that? <laughs> the ones who don't know how to get attention, so they start gossiping about everyone. And I'm like, I know your life is not interesting, but please have some respect for others and for yourself. Oh my gosh, I know someone who just gossips about everyone, like even their close friends. Or like, we would think they were close friends, but no, they just be gossiping about their friends and it's just odd because everyone thought they were best friends, but I guess not. <laughs> Being a jerk to other people to boost your own ego. Yes, people who pick on others, I feel like are just really, really insecure about themselves, you know? They need to pick on others and make others feel bad about themselves for them to feel good. Being mean to serving staff. Yeah, this. Totally judging someone for this, honestly. You have to be a bad person to be mean to serving staff, honestly. Endlessly talking and bragging about their private lives. Example, I had a jerk of a boss who once said, man, it wasn't yesterday I got laid with that woman after a customer left, which made me and my colleagues somewhat uncomfortable. Oh my gosh. Handing a homeless guy a $10 bill and posting it on YouTube. <laughs> $10 bill. I love how they said $10 bill. Honestly though, I don't feel like this is too bad as long as you're helping them out, you know? Like, yeah, it's not gonna make you look cool, but it's still a good thing for the homeless guy, right? He's got $10 now. People who tease guys for drinking girly drinks. If a guy wants to drink a strawberry daiquiri, <laughs> I don't know, let him drink it in peace. I don't drink, so I don't even know any names. You know what is manly? Drinking whatever you want without caring what people think. I agree. That's the coolest thing ever. I find that so attractive, honestly. If someone is doing something just because they want to and they don't care about what other people think, that's attractive. Especially with like guys painting their nails. That's attractive. <laughs> Using a cell phone in public on speaker. Oh yeah. Why do people do this? You know, <laughs> no one cares about your conversation. No one cares. No one wants to listen to your friend's voice speaking to you. It's because they can't hear properly. Is that why they put it so loud? Or do they really just want people to hear their conversations or something? I don't get it. Judging another person for their interests, even if the other person's interests don't affect or hurt anyone else. The other day, I had an acquaintance tell me how a friend of mine who likes to collect Funko Pops must be such a virgin, even though the guy is literally married with a kid on the way. Imagine judging someone 
for something that they're interested in that does not hurt anyone else. Like, I don't even care what anyone's hobbies are as long as they're not hurting anyone else. It can be weird, but as long as it's nothing bad, no one cares. Teachers who are proud of many of their students not passing. If I ever get a teacher like that, maybe I should ask why they are proud for being a bad teacher. Wait, I don't know a teacher who's proud of their students not passing. This is a thing. Oh, that just clicked to me. Right, right. Some teachers are proud because they think their exams are hard. Like they made the exams like that, so they're proud if you didn't pass it because it means they're smarter. <laughs> so dumb, you know? They're like, you didn't pass my exam. That's how hard my exams are. You guys can't pass it. I am the smarter one. Look at how hard my questions are. Jeez. Those are some interesting teachers though, honestly. Like they're happy. They're like the highest someone can ever get in my exam is 30%. Imagine being happy you're a bad teacher. Driving around residential areas too fast in cars with really loud engines and those exhausts that go bang, bang, bang all the time. They look like nothing other than inconsiderate jerks. I agree. I hate hearing those because my dog gets so scared too. Oh my God. I've had dates who were dismissive, slightly rude to servers, and it was a huge turn off. Yeah, this is, this is the thing. If you want to see if someone is a nice person or not, take them on a date to a restaurant, you know. <laughs> See how they act. It doesn't matter if you guys are just friends. If you're about to get to know them or you want to get to know them more, take them to a restaurant. Undermining a person every time they try to talk. My ex did this to me and the amount of confidence I've lost is terrible. Still recovering after three years. Teasing someone when they gather guts to talk in a group and then laughing is useless. Cannot explain how badly it hurts. Wait, what do they mean by that? Like, every time they try to say something, the ex would be like, that's lame. <laughs> Why would you even like that? Like that? <sighs> that's rude ass. I'm glad she's your ex. Posing as being brutally honest. Constantly invalidating others is not cool and speaks of your inability to feel validated by anything other than people. Yeah, that's true. People who think they're just being honest. The only way you're being honest and not rude is if you're trying to make them a better person and telling them it as it is, if you feel like that would help them in some way. But you're just being rude if you're just insulting them just because that's how you feel. You didn't have to be honest like that. People who say anything they want and then when they get caught out on it, say, it was just a joke. I hate people like this, honestly. I was just joking. <laughs> Why are you taking it so serious? I hate people like that, honestly. I've heard it so many times where I can imitate them so well. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys are not fun to be around. You can never take a joke. Well, that's it for the video. Hope you guys enjoy. Tell me in the comments down below what your thoughts are. And as always, thanks for watching. Hope you guys liked it. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.